Hi there, sign of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really good. This is your next 48 hour reading. Um, so you can apply it to how it resonates for you and your situation. This is Osho Zen Tarot, and I am going to pull, I said that funny, I'm going to pull a Celtic cross or the sign of Scorpio. We will clarify probably using Dream Keepers Tarot. <clears throat> Messages for Scorpio. I got resistant to change or some kind of resistance to a change. And then I got um, the marriage card that came out pre-shuffle with the Keeper deck. That's probably good. Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck has to do with feeling like you've put all, all that you can into something. Um, I'm not. It's, so this is a general reading. It doesn't have to be um, about relationships, but I will do both. So if it is a relationship issue in the past, there is. Um, some kind of energy that was kind of hard to work with um i would think that they maybe even try to take control of things but don't do a very good job of it or they're not very compassionate um or this if it's on the general side you know it might be about how resources are tight um and finding a healthy balance with home and life is uh, it's, it's causing some kind of struggle. It's causing a problem. Now, if it has anything to do with the Ten of Wands, then it's because you're taking on too much. Um, and so, yeah, you can't carry everything for everyone. The um, King of Wands in the reverse might have to do with... Um, pretending that something is fine or, or even pretending that something is is working when it's not hmm. but I have Capricorn in the past Leo energy or Aries you have uh, the Knight of Swords is in the reverse as the challenge that's what's resistant to change that's what's not changing you're feeling like you want to get out of a commitment, like you don't, like you don't really want to fight for something. That's just what I'm reading, is that the feeling of like wanting to let all this down, it might help you to do that. It might, it might, because you could be carrying. Look, this is future energy is you not carrying everybody else's crap for them <laughs> anymore. The things that you think about are not solely going to be for other people. They've got to be for you, too. And if this is saying you're the, you know, that you feel like the hierophant in the reverse, then you're feeling like something's not working out. But are we outwardly showing that something's not working out? Probably not. We're probably using the energy of strength, of courage, of, um, Leo's energy for Leo season right now probably using that energy um, <laughs> for outward appearance at this time just because it's the influence um, so what is not so what isn't being built is due to a resistance in change 
you have Leo energy twice because you also have the Sun in reverse as a crowning energy which is something that either we're in denial about or that we just don't see I think we see see something though I think it's just um, coming out of denial then you have the eight of wands um, and it is in the position where it's the heart of the matter and if it is if you are looking at this reading as a love reading then the eight of wands could be like cupid's arrow hitting you you know it could be communication where you're like oh wow i'm smitten by this person <laughs> smitten um and and so yeah like i mean because the heart in the heart the sun is out it's not in the reverse oh there's a lot of talking to oneself going on here of, it's fine everything is fine we're fine you feel fine right we're fine i'm fine <laughs> and the, and it's and then the crowning energy is like no it's not <laughs> it's not lit up but your heart is and i feel like the heart is open and the heart is receiving these messages the heart wants something to move in the direction of progress for sure it might be wanting to go in a new direction that's just kind of how I'm reading it this can also be communication at the heart of the matter maybe we're waiting on communication um, maybe what isn't being revealed is that you're doing a whole lot more compared to somebody else like a whole lot more or or that's an energy of being of something going on in the shadows hmm why is the hierophant in reverse for how we feel why are we feeling this way because of the two of cups in the reverse because there's a partnership that isn't getting along and it feels like it's more competition and arguing petty arguing and fighting than it is getting along could be um so the, the these cards both mean either a breakup or coming out of a commitment because there's not harmony there so then so then what so what spirit tell us what the eight of wands is is this um why is it even attached to this so this could be somebody that you've met is what i'm thinking and is what i'm picking up on energy wise okay no it's talking more so about the strength and the energy to go in your own direction um not wanting to walk away there's something some kind of fear of walking away um this energy here because of what happened or what has been happening it feel like it feels like it's something's like knocked your confidence or self-esteem maybe this person so you do have the strength energy you've got it right here too so this is like Leo energy really strong um, Scorpio what is the Sun in reverse for at the uh, crowning energy I'm wanting to say a Leo not present for some is that this is definitely a Leo not present or this is um, not not feeling very uh, hopeful about a situation or feeling like something kept you in the dark maybe it was not seeing clearly and and therefore because the four cups reverse is like you've already done the work to go inward you've already decided that you are over something <clears throat> you detach and are ready to have some kind of new start it's being ready for a new start tell me about strength energy why is it here twice Oh, so I was picking up something like that like why is it touching this eight of wands because this is oh it's saying the strength and the courage to walk away from something but also to speak up about some something else 
<laughs> or to communicate with someone else because eight of wands wow and the king of cups if somebody has hit your heart space and you feel a, resi a resonating this resonating more so with this one choice than you do this other this is like a soap opera now <laughs> soap opera going on there could be way there could be more than one person like competing for maybe your heart space um something's going to start moving fast look at look at all your eights eight 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 yeah you could be feeling like you've done a lot of inner work and that you're like really balanced um, this could also be getting mentored or advice um, for how you're feeling at this moment, at this moment, what it's like to go through a breaking of a contract because of simply not being able to carry, can't get yourself to the top of the mountain without carrying this many other issues. Tell me about the future energy about this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, it's like I'd rather be alone than deceived. Somebody thinking that they can deceive you, but they can't. They haven't. So it's obvious that they haven't. You, they, you've already, you're already like, yep, I already know that it's not working. And I already know that I'm the one that's been doing the most of the lifting. I already know also if there is any kind of deception, you already have seen that. This is like, um, okay, I need to have a strategy. Dropping these swords is part of the strategy. Listening to your intuition is part of the strategy. So develop um, a strategy. <laughs> and don't tell anybody. It feels like an energy just wants to sneak off. That's what it feels like. Tell me about the five of wands. What is this? Is this healthy competition or is this bickering? It can be both of those. Uh, <laughs> as, as, so you know what? Okay, so five of wands in the reverse and, and the hermit. Uh, these two together are saying you would rather just be by yourself, do your own, uh, find out more about who you really are, get to know you, than be around foolish games. You're done with them. Um, games you're done with games and you're done with like when you see something that's projection that you absolutely know is oh, okay this is to teach this or this is for me to wake up to this like you already see that that's why the projection cards coming out in the reverse because it's it's like yeah you already know to do something about this seven seven uh, another meaning of moving forward with confidence the um, Knight of Cups is telling you there is an unexpected offer, proposal coming up. Somebody might want to even um, apologize. I don't know if you would take it, but I feel like you're going to spend some time on your own with that Hermit. Nine Nine to uh, suggest that it might be wise to leave some things in the past that belong there. Um, the Nine of Swords is not necessarily bad. It just means that you're anxious because there's something that needs to be done. How it's done, I don't know. That Maybe we release that. But keeping your own mind clear and unimpaired so you can see your options and choose wisely. I feel like that's what's needed. Here, here's a new start. Something a little bit more, an opportunity that has, well, maybe more focus on finances. But a focus on feeling safe and secure this person's energy that put you around the Seven of Swords doesn't feel secure. So you're going in and yeah, you don't want to do just something right off without thinking about it. And so you're doing a lot of thinking, you're doing a lot of communicating. And there's a new opportunity here too. So that's what I've got for you all. I'll pull the Kipper deck. Um, just to see what else maybe wants to come out about um, who this, you know, what these energies, who they are, what is it about? It's about hard work. It's about toil and labor. And you're feeling like this partnership or, you know, shouldn't be, it shouldn't be this much work for you. Mm. 
The state of a relationship is in poor health. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. But I'm pretty sure you already know these things too. And then the house. Hmm. House. Deception over a house or over to me saying. Somebody made a bad decision. Lovers in reverse. Or you feel it looking back. You're like, that was a bad decision. I think it has to do with this Queen of Pentacles in the past. And then the family room's coming out. So, it's communication with, I was going to say, with everybody. And look, here's community too. It's conversation to be had with everybody here involved. So, I'm going to pull from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts too. That's what I got for your reading. If you want a private reading, I do offer those. They're a little bit longer and um, more personalized. So you can get one of those if you want one of those Scorpios. Seven. There's another seven. Now you have seven, seven, seven. Get in the flow. And eleven. Ascension number 11, access light-based technologies. Uh, seven, Ascension seven, astral plane, canal gland is fine, is fully open. Um, ancestral line is older than earth. Tarot creator, a visionary. Paternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom and inheritance from the father's line. I also have number two, life path number two, the partner, ruling planet, moon. Coming in, psychic detective, postcognition, psychometry, telepathy, and dowsing. Okay, and from um, fortune cookie deck and the fairies. And the fairies. It's always the fortune cookies that come out though. All right, so arrows, direction is yours to choose today. Your inner light will guide the way. Nature, spend some time in nature, outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Paternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance from the Father's line. Difficult times, be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Then I have planning, so I think this is what it's talking about too. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely, and I have friendship. Maybe a new friend is coming in here for you too, or someone that needs your help. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. And that's what I've got for you, Scorpios. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification, then you can be notified when another reading comes out for you to update you. And um, until next time, love and light. Bye-bye.